Hi, my name is Michael and I'm studying Laws and Legal Practice at Flinders University. Hi, my name is Keely and I'm studying Laws and Legal Practice Honours combined with Criminology. Join us today while we discuss drones like this one and how their increasing popularity has influenced the change in law in Australia. We will discuss considerations that lawmakers need to make around emerging technologies. How does the law deal with new challenges of emerging technologies such as drones? So are there rules about flying drones? It's challenging for the law to keep up with new technologies. The rules vary depending on whether you're flying for fun or whether you're flying for business use. Hmm, but what if the drone fell on someone and they got injured? Well, the law of negligence might be able to help here. Perhaps the duty of care relates to this issue? But what if someone felt threatened by a drone flying too close? Well, that could be considered assault. And if it did hit the person, that would be battery. So what we need to take into consideration is negligence, assault and battery. And the law protects your rights. Wouldn't people feel like they're being spied on by the drones? Don't people have a right to privacy? Well, in Australia, there is no common law right to privacy. Only your personal information if it's covered under the Privacy Act. But that won't stop drones taking pictures of you. But wouldn't people want to enjoy their backyards in peace without the noise of their neighbours flying their drones around? Well, that's where the law of nuisance might help you. The law does protect your quiet enjoyment of your land, as well as your neighbours. It's all about what's reasonable in the circumstance. Wouldn't people want drones off their property? That's on trespass to land, so the law protects your rights to your land, including the airspace, but that's only up to a commercial airspace. Okay, so we need to take into consideration the Privacy Act, Law of Nuisance and Trespass to Land. 